actually okay in front of all of them. I'm actually like calling it right now. We will have a chicken competition between me and Rasmus. Two of us will make like a chicken. And you can you can make any chicken you want. Okay. I'm calling you out. Nikki's the judge then? Yeah. So we're yeah. gonna make this happen. We can, yeah. Welcome to the ultimate cook-up challenge between me and Rasmus. It was promised to you last split, but as we all know, Rasmus chickened out last time, but finally we managed to get him in the kitchen. There will be three criteria that we will follow during the competition. First of all, the taste. Something Very I will important. smash him in. Second of all, presentation. So how it looks like. Well, I'm not so good at that, so we will see about it. And the third thing is creativity, which, um, well, we will see about that as well. <laughs> and uh, for our cook experiences, or experiences in cooking, I went to cooking school for two years, so I want to make it straight, actually two and a half, three, uh, something like that. Uh, and Rasmus here, Maybe you can share your experiences? Well, my experience is cooking chili con carne. I'm an expert, I'm an expert on the chili con carne, and I have a very good recipe, which could blast Jankos. But today we're not cooking the chili con carne, no, because Jankos chickened out of that one. Instead, we are going to cook the chicken schnitzel. And, as I just mentioned, Jankos is a chicken. <laughs> and something <laughs> to add to that, <laughs> Rasmus does have the recipe for a <laughs> <our> great <laughs> chef. And the chef did teach him how to make the chicken schnitzel. But here I am with my original recipe that my mother told me. So, we will see how that one goes. Fuck. <laughs> It's all going great. We only have to make one schnitzel, right? We don't yeah. care about two schnitzels. Cut in very, very beautiful pieces. The size of the, the pieces. Yeah, well. Something that Jankos doesn't know much about, but I'm quite an expert after this YouTube video in the morning, so. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Very interesting, very interesting. I will make some eggs now. <laughs> <laughs> you filthy <laughs> cheater! You think you can just copy me like that, huh? You think you can just copy me? That's not really deep, but I guess. Always keeping an eye on the opponent is very important in the kitchen. Oh shit! I fucked up. Oh. I fucked up big time. I fucked up big time, but I'm not doing it as well this time. I will just keep it. Actually, I can make two pieces. Can I make two pieces? I could make two of it. Now, I will move on to the, the little carrot here, which is going to be my secret ingredient. Now, I have never actually peeled one of those before, <laughs> so I will try, <laughs> try my best. I think I will maybe just like cut off the little head here and in the back, because that seems like a good strat. And then I will try peeling it. Hmm. Okay. It's going pretty well. I think maybe it should be a bit easier than this, but this is fine. I had like idea before we started, but now I'm kind of like, kind of lost. Like locally lost. And I'll turn a little bit down for the heat. We don't want it to overheat, right? Uh, like Yanko's rumble. <laughs> well, overheating <laughs> is a good thing right now, rumble. Well, not all the time, you know, you want to get your old off as well. So I'll put a little bit of oil here. And then what would be the next step? A lot of people would think maybe it would be the snizzle. But actually I have this strat that I'm gonna just like make an egg now on the pan. Because it will give it the sweet taste on the pan Thank for the snizzle you. later. Now I've never actually made an egg before. Um, but I did Google it. I'm pretty sure if I just put this on, if I open it and put it on, it will become a fried egg. So <laughs> I will try. <laughs> Oh. I think it's working, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make our own breadcrumbs. So and how we're gonna do that thing. is with the Pringles. Now Pringles as breadcrumbs is quite an innovation, but I think we might just, we might just be able to pull it off because this is a favorite of Mickey. And after all, Mickey is the judge. We have to make sure they're like kind of the same size as the, as the bread crust. So it can really stick. 
And normally what I like to do... <laughs> uh, what the fuck is going on, man? <laughs> Trying to make a sound of it looks disgusting. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure if it looks better or worse than yours, though. Maybe yours looks even like worse, I don't know. Oh, uh, the egg, the egg, always, always, always it's care. It's burning, bro! It's burning! <laughs> always care when you're putting something on the stove that it doesn't burn. Um, very important. Uh, and right now, we have a bit of, a bit of an egg. Um, but actually, Miki likes it a little bit burnt, so this is actually by his own, his own way. This is just how Miki likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Miki likes that smell of the burn in the morning. And also the most important about the egg was, was not was not the taste of the egg or the, the the consistency of the egg. The most important was getting a little bit of egg taste onto the onto the pan so that now that we put the chicken onto it, it will combo very well with the Pringles. <laughs> Actually, what does that sense? I should pull it out? Okay, I'll pull it out. I should, <laughs> what the fuck bro? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm getting some up <laughs> up help side help. Oh, <laughs> I think he already lost his composition. I hope Miki will be fine. I hope, I hope nothing bad will happen to Miki. Okay, now it's uh, turned down a bit. So I thought that uh, turning it down was actually turn, I mean, I thought What I thought was turning it down was actually turning it up, which is a bit of a problem. Um, but now I learned it which means I can go on to the chicken now. So, I will take this chicken piece right here. And I will like push it down. Yeah, I guess I was using the thing, but I like to get my, my hands dirty, so. Yeah. What? I didn't. Oh, you didn't? You, you want it? No, it's fine. I will just do it myself because, oh, oh I broke it actually. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I broke it a bit. So maybe it was actually, it's, yeah, I mean, it's not, I will go on to the next one, I'll try it. I'll try it the next hey, one. Hey Mickey, you like crunchy or non-crunchy? Crunchy. Uh, maybe too much actually. Actually this is too much, I just fucked up. I actually messed up Mickey, I actually messed up. I forgot the other fucking non-spicy guy. Huh? Peace brother! Okay. Good, good grasp of flour here, so that we can really get the egg to stick, and uh, that will also help the Pringles stick. So, very important that you don't go light on the flour. Give it a few rounds around, put it around a bit. It's a beautiful! It's a beautiful! You will love it, my boy! You'll be proud of me. What is this, my Erasmus? What are you doing here? <laughs> what is this? Can you walk me through it? <laughs> I don't even want to know. I don't talk to losers. So now we have, it, we have the Pringles and the other one we will put into the other crust too. So we get the double crusty because Miki did say he likes it uh, a bit crusty. And I will bring it onto the, the pan. Actually, I will also just put some spices on Thanks. it because I'm what do you call a master chef. You can see the winner already. I can smell it. What is this? What is this egg? What is this egg? What is this? It's a burnt egg. This is not how we make eggs. I will show you how we make eggs. I also know Mickey likes eggs. Okay, okay. The salt. Oh, uh. <laughs> 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 It's a bit too much salt there. Uh, but I you have, I'm really, really salty. <laughs> but you like it salty, Mickey. <laughs> you like it salty, Mickey. Look at it. Isn't that a beautiful schnitzel? It's a beautiful schnitzel, isn't it? You probably ate better, I agree, but for a League of Legends gamer, since right now I'm cooking in front of cameras, uh, I take wipe applications on my email. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give it a, a little bit more. We cut off all the dark parts. We only have left with the beautiful white one. So as we see here now, it, it, you can never tell this one was burned. <laughs> Except, for, I mean, don't look over here. This part is, uh, <laughs> this part is scary. 
It's the burn part. Okay. Yeah. Three minutes. Fuck, how do I make my egg in two minutes, by the way? It should take less than that, right? And as you can see, it's like a beautiful brown. A little bit of the dark parts, but I know that's just exactly what Miki wants. So. It's all going great. Yeah. I think we can take it off. I think we can take it off. I think it's perfect. Uh, let's bring it onto the plate. Make sure, have sure not to drop it. Oh, over the egg. We are gonna put a carrot here. A carrot here. Too much of salt. <laughs> and then we're gonna find one way to make a little bit of a happy face to show that we really care about the food, right? We're gonna put it here. <laughs> That's the mouth. <laughs> Doesn't that just look beautiful? Um, and yeah, now this is not the only thing that he's getting, obviously. Uh, we also have a little, uh, a little egg here going on. And we'll place that over in the corner. Uh, everyone knows that eggs should always go here in the corner. I think. <laughs> mm, does it look good? Mm, I, I think we'll go with the original plan. This is just simpler <laughs> and it's much better. But remember, if you're at home, do not cook like Yankers. Make sure to wash your hands very <laughs> often. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And it's done. Hands off the table. Hands off the table. <laughs> I messed up. Did you mess up? Uh, I would say mine is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dig right in. Oh, let's actually first examine the plate. So, uh, creativity, very creative. There's a smiley face right here. <laughs> the eyes made with the carrots and the, <laughs> the salad for the mouth, very creative. Um, originality, yeah, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> now let's dig right in. A very small piece. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, I expected worse. Um, it's edible, I think. Let's try with the rest. Mm. Wow, the flavors really like mix well and blend well together. It's like the perfect balance, just very harmonic. <laughs> wow, but uh, enough of this dish, let's bring out the next one. Let's firstly examine the plate here. So the presentation definitely deserves a high grade. Uh, originality, I cannot see it. I cannot see the originality in this dish, unfortunately. Um, creativity, doesn't compare to the smiley face, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think it looks pretty good in general. It's better than the other one. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's take it right in. <laughs> let's only try the meat first. So crispy. Wow. The golden case, <laughs> the casing of the golden armor just entraps the meat <laughs> and releases his, the, <laughs> shut up, don't laugh. <laughs> Let me start over. Cut the clip, no again. The casing of golden armor entraps the meat's juices, rich fragrance and the umami goodness that on the inside, that just explodes the moment you bite into it. Delicious flavor impacts every organ in your body. Took a big piece. Took a mm. big piece. Mm. Wow, this takes me back. <laughs> 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 so, the taste for this one, I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. The taste for dish number one is the perfect six out of them. Uh, let's give it a five. <laughs> five, it was fine. And that's all we needed to know. But that was mostly because of the cheese. The cheese was a very smart addition and very creative, of that's course. That's why it was five, not my OB3. <laughs> <laughs>
I think that presentation is different than creativity. I think my presentation is flawless. And my creativity your was zero. But we have to keep in mind, when you go to a restaurant and you get a dish, even if it looks awesome, even if it's a smiley face on your plate, <laughs> and you taste it and it tastes like shit, will you eat it? Or of will course. you be disappointed? Of course I will, of course want will a refund. <laughs> so the taste is the most important. And the taste in my dish was absolutely good. <laughs> <laughs> It was better than I expected. I expected to actually just eat one bite and just <laughs> throw it out, <laughs> spit it out, but honestly, it was not too bad. And uh, the salad was better, definitely better on this dish than that one. Just tomatoes. Thank Who you. wants tomatoes? <laughs> but this and is biased cucumber. because he doesn't like tomatoes and the cucumber. Like, Caro doesn't eat this dish. It's way too But the cheese so complements the salad <laughs> perfectly. But just like put the cheese like on top. Okay, I can put cheese on top. I messed up. You yeah. put cheese on. Yeah. As the last words for you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you subscribe to the channel. Leave a thumbs up as well. And don't forget to comment which schnitzel was actually better, right? Number one, which is the disgusting and Erasmus schnitzel, or number two, the super tasty 9 out of 10 taste, my schnitzel. See you next time.